Hey guys, Hal Jackie here, and today I'm going to be giving a new game a try called The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Randomizer. So for anyone who's ever played uh, A Link to the Past, um, this is the same game as any uh, that you've played before, except that they do is they take all the treasure chest locations and shuffle up all the items. So, you know, if you're looking to get like the hook shot in one... Uh, one dungeon, well, it might be in some random cave somewhere. So it's set up in a way that you will never get stuck. Like the item that you need to progress will be somewhere that you can access. And I played it a little bit, just getting familiar with it. I've been watching a lot of um, competitions on uh, Twitch as well, where they have um, two players against each other using the exact same randomly generated uh, code. So I have up here um, from the Link to the Past randomizer. It's pretty fun. Um, the objective is to defeat Ganon. Uh, the mode is open, so I'll start in my house without uh, the beginning sequence. Basically, as soon as that's done, when you uh, actually rescue Zelda. Um, and Heartbeat is quarter speed, and then you can pick a character to play as. Like all these different people here. I'm picking, I don't know who this guy is, Mike Jones, but uh, I'll give him a try just because he looks a little uh, a little different from, from Link, but not like so crazy that I don't understand who uh, what I'm looking at. And then um, the only other thing that I have on is a uh, stopwatch timer. And that's really it. So, um, oh, did I just mess up settings? Stopwatch. I think. Keeps getting kind of, kind of screwed up here. Um, generate custom game. Ah, here it is. Yeah, I'm still Mike Jones. Okay, good. Um, so you just hit generate ROM. And then if you have. Um, the ROM of Link to the Past somewhere. I think you need the Japanese version. It's easy to find online. Uh, you can play, so just hit save and just open it up. And then uh, just make this full screen and uh, we'll get going. This is just a Japanese opening different than uh, the regular one. And this is all new too. So episode three, a link to the past because it's the third game, right? After Zelda and Zelda 2. I never did play uh, Zelda 2. I tried the original Zelda. I got it like on the Wii U virtual console. I got confused. I don't think I ever beat it. But I know it's a game where you're supposed to spend, you know, weeks just trying to find out every, uh, everything. Every possible bush and corner, everything you have to bomb and shoot arrows at to see if you can get a secret staircase or something. Oh yeah, the seven crystals. Um, just like uh, everything else in the game, the crystals are randomized. So you might be able to get a crystal like in one of the early dungeons that are usually for pendants. You need the three pendants to pull the Master Sword. So if I do need the Master Sword, um, it will be somewhere randomly. And the Master Sword pedestal will contain a random item. So if that is a random item that I need to progress, then I'll have to get all the pendants, possibly from crystal dungeons. It's going to be fun. You can also glitch a little bit. I know how to do a couple of glitches, but I'm not going to do any of that for this run. Keep it more standard. So in the original game, like, you know, it's raining and you have to go down to the base, the, the castle basement to rescue Zelda and everything. That's all skipped. So then you start off in an open world, so it's easier to find, uh, easier to find stuff because there's only a few treasure chests and stuff. But you can still find your uncle. So, here we go. So I'll just name myself, uh, I don't know. Al Jack. Yeah, I guess I can't put the full name in. And the H didn't go through. So I'm gonna be Alj! Alright, let's start off with my house. Bombs are good. Bombs are good. I need bombs to you know, get in the caves and stuff. So I'll do the original uh, kind of walkthrough. You know, you go down to the 
and your uncle in the well. But I'm not gonna go into the castle until I get a sword. I'm going that way. I'll go in the way that you normally come out of. Then you find your uncle here. He, he usually gives you the sword and shield, but here he'll give you something totally random. He gives me a piece of heart, so that's good. In this game, you need four pieces of heart to make a new heart container. You can get a total of uh, 20 hearts. You start off with three. Oh, sweet! I got the sword! That That's really lucky. Some people, you know, can go like an hour into the gameplay and check like half the locations to not get a sword. Oh, and like, um, you'll never be able to find like the Master Sword or the Golden Sword before the regular sword. It's all in order. So the first sword that you find, regardless of where it is, is always going to be the next level that you need. So the next sword that I find will be the Master Sword, not the Master Sword. So because I have a sword, I'm actually going to go into Hyrule Castle. But I'm not going to do the, the back sewer part because I don't have a lamp. You can if you're really good at the game, but uh, I am... <laughs> I don't even know where things are in the dark, so I'm not going to do that. And the, the game is designed so that you're not going to be required to get down there until you get a lamp. It's the same logic for the for your shield and for um, your, like, type, uh, your mitts, like the power glove and the titan's mitt. Oh man, I get my ass handed to me here. I'm just playing on a keyboard. It's a little different. And like I said, the map... I think the map, that's the generic location for the map. I got my first rupee. I'm just gonna run by these guys. And Zelda will not be in the dungeon. She'll be at the uh, sanctuary, which I could have started at. Ah, crap. Not very good with the uh, keyboard. I'm gonna have to hit that fast. What do I got here? Five arrow upgrade, so that's not actually five arrows. I got five. I just increased my arrow capacity by five. And of course, arrows are useless until I get a bow. I gotta find that somewhere. You can find silver arrows before you find the bow, though. Getting silver arrows early makes the game um, ridiculously easy for most most of the bosses. Some bosses only take one or two hits. Ah. Ow! Okay, good. Twenty bucks. So that was a bust. So I'll just save and quit. I'll try not to die. At the end of the game, there's always a tally, too. So I'll go to the sanctuary. This is where um, Zelda is. It's always a 300 bucks. That's good. I need money. I think in that chest in the regular game, it's a heart container. A full heart container. So I'll head, uh, I'll head towards the Lost Woods. There's a ledge over here that I can check as well. Um, in it, there's an um, item that, if it's a big, if it's a really important item, um, then I need to defeat the wizard at Hyrule Castle. It's the tree that accesses and cut down. So these guys are like cutting a tree. That doesn't get actually cut down until uh, you defeat the wizard. Sometimes you don't have to defeat the wizard, so we'll see what's in this uh, on this ledge here. Ten arrows. Okay, so I don't need to defeat uh, defeat the wizard unless there's no other way for me to access the dark world, which sometimes can happen. You know, if I don't get the items required to access the dark world entrance, then I'm I'm screwed. And if you don't know what the dark world is, then uh, it's basically the alter ego of this world when Ganon takes over. Ow! Go there afterwards. Not much here. It's 20 bucks. I'll take it. Master Sword's up in that, uh, that spot, but I don't know what it is. If I get the book, um, the translator book or whatever, the Book of Medora, 
It'll tell me what's on the pedestal. So if it's something important. If it's something important, I'll uh, check it. Hey, buddy. You seen Andy? He was out looking for our prize the medallion. I wonder when he'll be back. These people say random stuff. The signs have random stuff. If you're doing like a speed run like against somebody else in a competition, you don't plot, read a lot of that stuff. Oh uh, yeah, the thief. Go away! No! Go away! I need to keep my bombs. I need lots of bombs early on. Sometimes these guys drop bombs. Not there. That one hasn't changed. This is Kakariko Village. There's a bunch of stuff I can check in here early on without any important items. Well, I got the sword, so that's a really big plus. You know, I couldn't even go to Hyrule Castle like in the basement if I didn't have a way to attack somebody. I could use bombs, but well, they're important to post stuff up like that. Five bomb upgrade, 50 bucks, 300 bucks, all right, I'm rich. And another piece of heart, I think I've got three pieces now. If I pull it down the menu, uh, what is it, button one? It tells me I got three pieces of heart, level one sword, and green mail. There's three males in this game, or tunics or whatever. The green mail has no benefits. Uh, the blue mail's next, and that gives you 25% uh, health. Like better armor or whatever. And then the red mail is 50%, which is the... Uh, just like the sword and the, the gloves and stuff, and shields. You can only, you'll get the blue mail before you find the, uh... Did I screw this up? You can only get the blue, the red mail after you get the blue mail. Hey, there's the blue mail, and I turn green for some reason. That's good, I can take more damage now. Oh, sweet, I got the Master Sword, which gives me that cool beam attack when I'm at full health. And another heart container, that's good too. I'm happy I got the Master Sword. Maybe it'll be another sword up here. Five bucks. So it's twice as uh, twice as damaging as the first sword that you get. I think it's called the Fighter Sword. Then you have the, uh, the beam attack only when you're at uh, full health. That does a little bit of damage too. So this guy, let's see what he gives me. Another piece of heart. All right. I got five hearts now. I only have one bomb, so that's a problem. There is a store that I can buy more bombs at, though. Let's see what's back here. Another piece of heart. Never a bad thing. But obviously, I'm looking for like you know the hook shot or um, hammer or something, something, new, something good. So I'm out of bombs. There's a little store here. I got lots of money. find them elsewhere. Uh, where else can I check? Uh, there's a sick kid in here. Usually gives you the bug net. See what he's got in store for me now. I'm sick, show me a bottle, get something. I guess I need to get a bottle first. There's four bottles in the game, and they come randomly um, loaded with something. So sometimes your bottle can be empty, or it can have a blue potion, or something else. Hey, there's the bug net. So basically what the kid gave me up there normally is... Uh, game now. Bug net's pretty useless until I get a bottle, though, because there's no way for me to put in anything that I catch. Let's see what's in the library. I need the Pegasus boots to actually get what's inside, but it's going to check. A full hearth container, okay. So, we'll come back for that once I get the boots. So there's a race here. Let's see what I can get. As you can tell, bombs are very important. Got a lot 
got some money now. Is there anything else for me to do over here? I think so. So I'll head down, uh... I'll head down south now. It would start off with full health. We'll see what's down south here. There's a dam and, uh... Desert cave. Ow. And I could head, uh... East as well. Let's see what's over there. Another piece of heart. Gonna get lots of help. You can go back inside and unplug the dam. The other lever is bombs and stuff, you don't want to pull that. And let's see what the dam drains out. That's oh, another 20 bucks, may as well pay it. I don't have a shield, so there's no way for me to guard against that. You think I should just defeat the, the bad the, the guy there and take his bow, but you can't. Breath of the Wild, you can. Take whatever item they're carrying. Go away. Let's see what the desert cave has. If this guy says anything. Once I farted in this cave so bad that all the jazz hands guys ran away and I hid in the. <laughs> what the f <laughs> The programmers of this thing. It's like the weirdest stuff. Alright, another piece of heart. Super random. This is actually, I think it's version 27 of the randomizer that I'm playing. I guess they've made all kinds of updates and stuff. And I can't get over to the desert uh, palace, but I can check what's on the... Wow! It's on the ledge here, and that'll probably save me quick, because I'm so far away from this thing. Oh, there's the silver arrows! So, that's uh, very important. I'll need to get up there at some point. Alright. Maybe as well do a quick map check here, too. So there's a pendant, the green pendant, there's a special pendant that you can get another item, and you get the blue pendant there. I have the bow, but I don't have the lantern yet. So I can't get all the way through there. So I'll head down to Lake uh, Hylia. South of the lake, anyway, to see uh, what's over there. I wish I could just take their bow. Server arrows make it... Yeah, makes things a lot easier. Ow. It's a good thing I got the, uh, the blue mail. Those crabs take two hearts of damage. Alright, let's see what's in here. Because I have full... Because I have the laser, it should be pretty easy to beat these guys. But of course, silver arrows are still useless without the bow. But they're important. There's another bomb there. should take it. Ah! Take the magic too. Barely get over there. There, let's see what's in store here. More money! More money! Oh, there's the bottle. I can go find the sick kid now. More money! Oh, I got the hammer! Sweet! The hammer is an important item in Link to the Past, if you remember. Or don't. Ow! There's one other spot to check over here, I think. Ow! It's much faster to get over here when you have the Pegasus boots, which we can dash really fast. Who knows where they are? No one! That's why it's a randomizer. If I knew where they are, it wouldn't be as fun. Damn crabs. 
Glove, I can get to the dark world now that I have the hammer. I'm really hoping to find that. More money! Okay, I'm gonna head east. Got lots of money. You can go. There's a lot of lot of stuff that costs money. Um, bought a thing for hundred bucks. Zora, the Zora um, salesman takes 500 rupees, so that's... Oh, I can knock his arrows out with the magic attack. That's cool. Master Sword is very overpowered right now. You, know? you don't usually get it at this point in the game. The early game. Alright, so we'll go... This guy. This guy normally gives you the Pegasus boots, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what he gives us now. Something for free. Go earn the green pendant. Oh yeah, I gotta get the green pendant. There's stuff back here. All right, what's he got? I bump upgrade. Oh, the flute. That's really important. The flute that just made like traveling around Hyrule so much faster. Um, I'm here. I may as well go to the Eastern Palace just to see if there's anything in store for me there. Oh, I don't want to go that way. I don't really remember where things are. Oh, it's a dead end. I'm not a professional speedrunner. I don't really remember this game exactly. I think I'm pretty good at it, but not uh, amazing. There's nothing in here, I'll just save and quit. It's just a pendant dungeon, and I can't get all the way because I don't have the whole lamp. But maybe I'll find the lamp in here, or something else. Everything in here is totally random. The big key could be in the first chest here. Oh, I called it, didn't I? So that could be access to the big uh, treasure chest. Which might hold, like, the compass, which is pretty useless. That's important too, that'll give me, uh, that'll let me transition between the dark world and the light world. Although I'll look different if I don't have the moon pearl compared to a rabbit or something. Every sprite turns into something different, I don't know what Mike Jones turns into. Medora, so I can check the uh, pedestal and some other things too. I'm really looking for the gloves. Maybe the big chest has them. Uh, 20 bucks. Is there anything else I can check? That uh, big key, that's all dark in there. I don't know where to go. I think over here is dark too. Just check it. Oh yes, it's all dark. Uh, I'll get out of here. So I'll head over towards Kakariko Village. Um, because I can activate the flute. And I can see what the, the kid who wants the bottle uh, will give me. I really need the Pegasus boots too, this is so slow.
This is good. It'll let me fast travel all across the uh, world. got for me, buddy? Oh, the red boomerang. Okay. Oh, I can just call the duck or bird or whatever it is. I can warp to all these different places. Where do I want to go? I should go to the magic hut, maybe. Get a, get a potion. Probably don't need it this early, but it's good to have. Get some money for it. Kind of nice and it just drops you right off the front. I can't go any further this way because I need power gloves. So maybe go to Death Mountain. Maybe there'll be something up here. There's an old man that you can find and you can help. Maybe the lantern for that. And then you can start on Death Mountain. Without him, uh, you know, if I die, I gotta restart all this again, so... Let's make sure that I don't die. It kinda looks kinda weird on the back, from the back without a shield. There's a piece of heart there, and then where do I fall? On this side? Here? Ah! Okay. Chance. So we'll see what's, uh, what's up here. Is hard up here too? Okay. Lots and lots of health. <laughs> ah! I lost my power beam. else I can really do. I don't really know where else to go without uh, some more equipment. So we'll see what this guy looks like in the dark world with uh, without the moon pearl. Oh, okay, it's just a girl. Let's see what these guys have to say. Wrote a word, just one stone turned into ocean. I don't really care. How about you, buddy? Add garlic, ginger, and apple. Cook for two minutes. And add carrots, potato, gram masala, and curry powder. Stir well. Add tomato paste, stir well. So they bring red wine. <laughs> add sugar, soy sauce, water, stir, bring to the boil again. Oh, go away! I don't want to talk to you again. Let's talk about like some random stuff. Go away. Because I have the magic mirror, I can transfer over. Get my piece of heart, and then I can also check this uh, thing over here because I have the book. Maybe I can get something over here. Then what? Is this a pendant? No, no, it's a crystal. The Tower of Hera is a crystal dungeon, so I gotta complete it anyway. So let's see what this uh, monument will give me. All right, power glove. That's what I needed. I can get to the dark world now without beating the wizard at Hyrule Castle. I gotta complete this place anyway, so I may as well do it right now. would be kind of useful here because I can freeze the people like that. The boomerang was a good find. Ow! There's the big key. Yeah, yeah, 
all this stuff comes flying at me. Ow, this thing hurt this stuff hurts. Speedrunners hate these rooms because it takes so much time to get through. What could be back here? It could be nothing. It could just be like a map or the compass. I'm taking a gamble. Ow! I think I got a decent amount of health in the blue mail right now. Oh crap, I need a fire source. I don't have anything. Well, so much for that. That was a waste of time. guys in one shot with a hammer. Ow. That is if they don't kill me first. Bounce back a bit when you hit them, so you need to make sure you don't fall through the floor. It's a good thing I found the big key early, because if it was beyond that, if it was in that tile room, I wouldn't be able to, uh, Get there. I think I need this to be on that setting. Upstairs here. Oh no. I guess it doesn't matter. Some more money. Ow. this game a few times. Ah, it's the compass. So that means that the other item in this place either is on the boss or is the basement, which I can't get to yet. Eh. Should have enough life to kill this guy. This guy is the biggest troll of all bosses. He'll knock you over, and even the best speedrunners have a really hard time beating him. Ow! Ow! The Master Sword should make pretty quick work of him, though. Ah! Just missed him. Up! Don't fall! Oh no, he's going super fast! Oh, I got him! Nice! Yeah, the Master Sword does twice as much damage, so it wouldn't uh, be very long. Also, the hammer does, hammer does a lot of damage, too. Firm pool, that's really good. It gets me to the Dark World, so that's important. The book will also let me get to the... Uh the desert now, right? That's the green pendant, so I don't want to go there unless I absolutely have to. So I will... Um... Yeah, I'll try and go to the Dark World. Probably be a lot of stuff there that I can check out. Caps lock by mistake there. <laughs> Alright. So a hammer knocks down the peg and the power glove lets me pick up the big rock. I can go I can go check out Zora too. Okay. There's a cave over here with a whole bunch of stuff. They call it the hype cave. 
Everything's a lot harder in the Dark World. They do expect you to have the Master Sword by here, by now, so... I had the minimum weaponry required. There. Oh, okay. Guy gave me a bottle. Filled with red potions. That's good. The blue boomerang, which isn't as good. More bombs. Uh, bombos, magic, and uh, more money. With the hammer, I can go... I should go this way first. Since I have the gear. There is no, um... Ow. There is no flute for fast travel in the dark world. You're on your own. Let's see what uh, the stump guy gives me. Eh, not much. Five extra pump upgrade capacity. Here I can check the mirror. What's over here? Oh, a piece of heart. There's other difficulties in this game, so, some of which don't even have extra heart containers that you can find. You just start off with three heart, three hearts, and that's all you get. or something, but I'll always take it. There's a heart. I can't get up there until I get the Titans mid, so I gotta backtrack a bit. Nothing really of value over here. But it was worth checking out. this up, but you need, like, a super bomb to do it. Make it a bit in the game. Oh, it went a bit too high. Oh, there's the, uh, Titan's mid, so that's big, big, uh, progression thing. If I had it, I would have gone over to the village of Outcasts on the other side. Just decided to go there first. find the flippers. So I may as well check out Sora in the light world. Oh, right, I, oh yeah, I can. I, uh, so I'll transition to the light world and see what's over there. Ow. 
<laughs> well, the guy's hurt even with uh, the nail. Everything hurts more in the dark world. The enemies are much stronger. They expect you to be much stronger too before you get here. Alright. Oh, another piece of heart. That's good. Another heart container. And I'll see what's in the light world here. There's two things to check out here. One I can't do until I get the flippers, but the other one I can. We had our rubies on the ledge, so if I ever get four, I can come back here and get a lot of cash. I gotta pay 500 rubies at Zora. Which way is it to see Zora? Is it this way? I found the right path. What's he got for me? Just a piece of heart. 500 rupees for that. That's a pricey piece of heart. Uh, can I go to the thing? Uh, yeah, I'll, I think this is the only place I can get to the dark world that I'm from right now. Oh, that's incorrect. I can go. I can go to the village of Outcast the other way. Now that I got the Titan's mitt, it's a bit faster. Oh, your priest heals you. Boots, man. I need to move faster. I can also go up there, can I? Alright. Let's see what's in the, uh, oh, what's, what's this called? Skull Woods? And then I'll head over to the village. Actually, I should check. Is this even required? Oh, yeah, it's a crystal. It's a crystal ball, right? when I get the big key. Maybe I can find it over here. Oh my gosh! But how do I get back over there? Do I have to fall over there again? I don't have a key. No, I gotta go the other way. I gotta go back. fire rod to beat this all the way through. If I can beat the first part of the dungeon. I gotta redo all this. Ah. Hey, 
And there's the small key for me to get through that door, so... Progression. Let's see what's over here. Why won't you die? You guys usually die to the fire rod really easy. And then I smell key. Oh yeah, I have bone bows, don't I? I'll kill them really easily. Compass. There's not much over here. Use the, I think this is it. I do this, I kill them all with fire. Fire attack. Yeah, look at that, just fry them all. Actually, I just wanted to get out of there anyway. Oh well. Much in there. May as well just check the next spot. Ah. Without my armor, these guys take two hits of damage. Kill these guys. This is the only thing I can use my magic for, anyway. Extra magic here. Ah! He's, of course, he's right there. So is the hand. Kill these guys. Be inside. Ow. Oh, okay. There's only one more thing I can check before I gotta come back, so. Check the last thing, and then I'll probably get out of here. <laughs> Do need the fire rod. Go away! This could be the fire rod right here. Oh. everything I can get in here, I guess. over here. You need, like, the magic cape and the hook shot to get at? It's good just to get some intel. These guys hurt. 
Ow. Failed. Three bucks. You need cape, but not hookshot. Well, I guess, uh, you need at least the cape. I can go check the graveyard, too. I think. And the, and the place with the magic key. Okay, so there's a couple of things I can check. Oh, Get into the magic cape at least too. Dad, I know I can get into the escape, the back of escape. that I could get here. Their heart container, 20 bucks. And a key, which I really don't need. Oh, I guess I got some extra life. Looks like I'm going to the village outcasts. Probably Thieves Town as well. A pendant or a di uh, a crystal, I don't remember. Well, let's see. I still think I want to go in there, because I can't really do much else. I can go to the Desert Palace, but that's also a pendant. A green pendant, though. Alright, let's see what the, uh... Let's see what can do for me first. Because I really don't want to go in there unless I have to. Another piece of heart. Uh, what else can I check? There's another house in here, too. Oh, there's a place I can bomb, too. Okay. Bucks. Get some money back from the large purchase of the piece of heart. I think that was a portrait of Mario inside, too. Could be wrong. See how that's Mario? It's got an H on it, though. I don't know why. It was just too hard to code an M. Oh, and I can rescue the frog and stuff, too. So there's a, a few things I can do here before I have to go into it. Appended dungeon. Oh, 
Well, no luck there. Looks like I'm gonna rescue the frog next. The cat is eating my headphone cord. Go away! Oh, there he is. Right, right, right. Come on, buddy. Powers up your sword in the regular game. Let's see what he does here. Oh, I can check this cave, too. Chickens in the dark world, they don't look very good. They look a little unhealthy, a little sick. Poor chickens. Oh, another medallion. Might need that for later. And I just uh, go to the light world. Back to the shop, see what I can get. What do you got for me, buddy? Hey, shield! Okay, that's good. Got some safety. It's a treasure chest in here that I can take too. It's actually faster for me to quit the game and come back in. Especially because I don't have the boots. There's a guy over here that can open it up for, I don't know, 100 rupees or something, so... I just need to watch my, my money count. I was swimming in cash earlier, but... I'm gonna watch my wallet after I bought all that potion and stuff. Over here, I may as well do this dungeon first because it's easier and I need a uh, green penny to give you something else. Oh, you just give me bombs. Between this and Thieves Town, I may as well go here first. Far in here, actually. I need Pegasus boots. It's an item. Did you have to get your boots? Oh, that means the key is probably on the torch, which means I can't progress very far. Kind of out of luck here, I think. Can I get the big key? Yeah. Well, so much for that idea. At least I know. I have to come back until I get the boots. Uh, where am I going now? I gotta go back to the dark. I gotta go back to the village again. Ah! Oh, who knows? I just could have had something good. Also go to the uh, whatever you call it, Palace of Darkness. There's still more I can do in the Dark World. Now was that a pendant as well? I'll check the map. 
since this is right here and there's some items that are pretty accessible early on, I may as well just do this. Let's see? No, that was Crystal 5. That's the Palace of Darkness, so... I can't get very far in there either, though, with the lamp, so I really don't want to go there. I really don't want to do that yet. Okay, so we'll go to Thieves Town. Let's see what I can find in here. these pendant dungeons, but... Yeah. That's randomizer for you, right? It's, you just don't know where to go. You have restrictions on where you can go. Oh, I can get further. Now. Where do I go? take a lot of health, so I'm glad I got a decent amount of health now in the blue mail. Get the bow, too. Give me the bow. Hook shot! Sweet! Okay, this place was worth going into. I still haven't cleared a single dungeon, have I? Oh no, I got the... I got the... the worm. That was a, that was a good dungeon. I got something to show for my, uh, progress. Oh, I hate rooms like this. Ah! Okay, I got no way on this game. Ah! It's just basically how much damage can you not take? Ah! They give me more health. Enough magic, which actually means twice as much magic. That's good. I don't have to be as uh, stingy with my magic now. This place is paying off. I got half magic and I got the hook shot. Ah. like that. Let's see what the big chest in here holds for me. Might be the map. Not the other the girl has the map. Ah! Alright, so the last item in the dungeon I believe is with the uh, the boss. So I may as well clear it and see what I get. If I do need to get the Master Sword, then at least I got one of the pendants. 
weapons are ready. Oh no, there's also this. Hey, there's a lantern! Okay, this was an important dungeon. It's, it's in here, I may as well just full clear it. Okay. What does she have? Maybe she's got something else. I've got everything else. Yeah, she's got another item. Maybe she'll have the bow. That would be a huge deal. Uh, I think one of these things has... Yeah. Now, this is a tough boss. I think. But I got lots of potions and stuff. It's a joke! No, I think it's a bit too cheesy. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't have a strong shield. Ow. 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 Oh. Ow. I need to use... I'll use the red potion. Ow. Ow. Ow! Ow! Ah, oh, crap. I guess I need to use the... Not the bee! <laughs> what the bee! Die! Yeah! I got the bee to help. I don't know. Hey, that might be something I need too. So this... This dungeon really paid off. That's good. So with the lantern, I can go to Hyrule Castle. I can rescue the old man. There's all kinds of stuff I can do. Not about maybe calling it a part or something right now, but uh, now there's a whole bunch of stuff I can do. Um, the Dark World, is there anything I can do? I can do the Palace of Dark. No, I need the bow for that too. Same with the uh, Eastern Palace. So I'll do the old man at the, the back of Hyrule Castle. And once I get the old man, I can start in Death Mountain too. And basically, you want to keep playing until I get stuck or I accomplish a really important part. the old man. I gotta help him find his house. He got lost. <laughs> oh! They didn't do any damage to me, though. The bats don't do any damage when I got the mail. Hey, I got some bombs. Alright, looks like I'm gonna go to Hyrule Castle. Uh, thing too. Uh, the Dark World thing. Let me do that right now before I forget. Some things I can check. Still. I could have checked this much earlier. Kicking myself into something important, like the bow or the flippers or something, but I still needed to go to that, uh, that thieves' town to get the stuff. What's it say? Misery Meyer. A way in, a way out. What they call that. One of the dungeons over here. But over here, I can get through. I used up my potions too, I should get some more potions. But I have the bug net, I can get fairies. Alright, what do I got here? Bombs! Alright. Might as well just quit. I guess I could have taken the, the bird. Oh well. 
Keep forgetting that I have the bird. Alright, looks like I'm going to the back of the Hyrule Castle sewers. Which is really easy, because it's... What you should do at the start of the game. Right after you rescue Zelda, you take her through the sewers. A lot of the enemies in here may not even do much damage. I'm just gonna see if I can run through it. Uh, ow. Okay, yeah, no damage. Oh, there's the treasure chest. Hey, it's the bow! Okay, that was important. There's a key in here. I don't know if there's any more dungeon treasure chests. I guess we'll light it up. So with the bow, I can do two dungeons. I do have a key. All right. it for here. Yeah, yeah, because I got stuck there. Yeah. Okay, so I can do I can do the Eastern Palace and the Dark Palace. So I'm as well do Dark Palace because I can I can warp back. So there's two dungeons I can do in the same location, one in the light world, one in the dark world. Same spot. I think I'll complete one for the end of this part, and I'll do the other for the next. Because I already went into the Eastern Palace. I guess we'll finish it. I don't have any potions. Oh, well, maybe I can find some fairies. I'd like to get a nice shield and... Tired. This is a good way to stop them. Good place to stop. Ow. But if I came here in the light world, I'd have to come back to the dark world. Whereas in the dark world, I could just warp and use them here. Right outside, we come back to the light world. This will cost me a hundred bucks too. Actually, a hundred and ten. Uh, it's this way. Oh, I lost a monkey. I gotta pay another ten bucks. It cost me money. You just kind of go in here. Yep. Oh, got hit again. If you get hit, the monkey gets scared, runs away. there next. First, the light world version. Which I've already been to, I just couldn't get all the way through. How did I get here? I got, uh... Oh, that's not right. It's, the... it's just a big key. So there's a dark spot that I may not need to go to. No, I think I if the if the knights don't have anything, maybe I should just go first because there's actually two items there. I think. Uh, 
So I gotta backtrack a bit, which kind of sucks. It's the first dungeon in the game, so it's a good place to check first. Ow! I can kill you all with a bow. Can aim. There's also a thing. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Okay. Some fairies in here. Use the bug net to get them. There's some good safety. If I die, the fairy will revive me. Seven hearts. I think it's seven hearts. I can actually see it here now. Ow. Dodge that. all that for nothing. If anything, it just solidifies. So I'm still looking for, still looking for the map. I think actually he might have it. I was thinking that he might have had, already got all the items. I guess I already did. Yeah, I think he's, he's got to have the map. Here, you cannot kill without the bow. But you can see my arrows. Oh, there's five arrows. So that's what blocked me from completing this earlier, along with the, uh, the lamp. Only kill him with the bow. Ow. You can kill the knights with other stuff, but it's. Arrows just are much easier. Oh, okay, I got lots of arrows. They give you lots of arrows before you go in. This is the first real boss of the game. Just keep shooting arrows like a machine gun. You can hit stuff. Ow! just in time. I really didn't need to do this, but who knows, maybe I need dependence for stuff. Oh, I can go check that guy, too. I'll do that on my way out. I'll have to remember that. Ah, screw it. You know what? I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try it. Uh... Yeah, I'll go in. I'm like, I'm tired, but I'm right here. Hey, a big key. 
here is it makes things easy too if I get to it. So I really didn't need to do the Eastern Palace at all. I don't think it had anything. I don't have any arrows, do I? Careful with the arrows I do find. I think they give you some arrows in a pot. Ten arrows. Just wasted one. Five more, so I got lots of chances here. Those, those red ones can only take arrows as hits. I hate moves like this. And more arrows. in terms of life support. Ow. Key. Big key, so I may as well go all the way and keep the boss and then come back later. still a lot more items in this dungeon, but because I'm near the end, I may as well just finish it. Pretty good shot! At least against those guys. Nice one myself there. You shoot this thing. have the hammer, the bow, and the lantern to get into this part of the dungeon, so I have all three, so I can do it. I'm really looking for the fl flippers now, is an important thing, and the boots. lose too much life though. Oh I'm running too fast there. Alright, so I got lots of life, so I should be able to beat this boss. This one's annoying too. I'm gonna use the hammer and crack open his uh Life. 
arrows. Ah, I took a death, but it's not a real death. I would have been more cautious if I didn't have fairies. Of course, I say that in hindsight. He's almost dead. Oh, come on! One more hit! Ah! Alright, what do you got for me, buddy? Clean up the map. 20 bucks! I gotta go back in here. Get the rest of the treasures. Hopefully it's worth my time and not Bunch of garbage. I need a key. Well, I guess I gotta go down here. Probably gonna be a key in here, isn't there? Yep, now I gotta go back up. Uh, you know what? I can just mirror. I'll try that again. When you mirror, everything resets, so I gotta rebomb and everything and kill all the enemies again. All right. Pull that for this treasure chest, which contains a mushroom. All right. I gotta fall down and everything again. Is it just mirror? The mushroom I can trade in and get something else. So. Turn out to be nothing, might turn out to be you know, boots or loot. Uh, I think I go this way actually. Invincibility. Put in a key to get a key. It just went straight here. I didn't know what would be in there, though, right? I had what I needed. Instead, I gotta go through this maze. Bunch of treasure chests. There's the map. There's the compass, so the last item is in the big chest. I can just mirror out of here, which is kind of nice. Tempered sword! Alright, good. That's the third of four swords in the game. Go 
I will uh, clear out. Check, uh, check what the green pennant's got. Check what the mushroom's got. And I'm... don't know where to go. I guess I can go up to Death Mountain. Go earn the green pendant and I'll give you something. Oh, because the green pendant was over there. Oh, it was in the in the thing with the, the desert one, which I couldn't get to. Oh, okay. I got the pendants. I got the, all of them but the green pendant. I'm wrong. So I gotta go to Death Mountain. To put the mushroom in the witch's brew. You leave, come back, and see what the heck they got that turned into. Why don't you be the next sword or something? It is 20 bucks! Looks like I'm going to Death Mountain. Alright. I wanted to call it quits, but I just am so intrigued. This guy will heal me up. I can also just start here now, which is kind of nice. The hook shot will let me go to Death Mountain. The other side of Death Mountain. Ow! 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 Ah! Ash! Tempered sword's really good. Ow! He's hurt. Do I fall? I don't remember. Yes, I fall. Okay. Let's see what kind of crap is in here. Always use more health with the amount of hits I'm taking. Twenty dollars. Hey, here's the boots. And I can zip. Move really fast now. Here's money. I don't need to be stingy anymore. I should have bought more potion at the magic shop. Oh well. Where am I going here? I think it's just as easy to fall. Oh, it's just a store. Since I got lots of money, I may as well buy the potion. The heart. You're not gonna get very good business if you're stuck in a cave behind a boulder, lady. Right, this is where I was before. Okay. Trying to remember. Pegasus boots, I can just, just run right through them. It's kind of nice. Come back! Ah, she's gone. That was a 50 50 chance. Oh, it's just fairies in here? Alright. I don't remember everything. I think I go back upstairs and do all that again. Oh well. Oh, lots of goodies to get over here. I can come I can come here in the dark world too.
That's why I'm really glad I got the Pegasus boots, because this takes forever! With the, uh... Ugh. Without them. I always thought you sound like a train with the, uh... Pegasus boots. Also, you are... It's hard to stop a train. Just like you with the Pegasus boots. <laughs> the only thing that stops you is, like, solid rock. Nothing there. Much else I can do in the light world. I'm gonna go up the stairs one more time. Ow. What's on the ledge? You got bombs? Bombs. Go to the dark world. Now, turtle rock. Turtle rock hat. Yeah, the rest of everything. The rest of the stuff here is a crystal dungeon. So I may as well open it up, but I can't get inside. Was the pendant? Oh, it's quite okay. I can't get inside until I have the what is it, the cane of Symmetra or Smyrna or whatever it is. So I gotta come back there anyway. It'll probably be the last dungeon I go to because it's the last one in the game and it's you're pretty close to Ganon's Tower anyway. Unless of course there's nothing I can do until uh, until I go in there. more chests in here, and there's more chests in that cave. What do we got? I need flippers. That's the big one now. Hey, there they are! Ah, crap, I fell down. Might as well check the other chests while I'm in here. Never know what they'll be. Some money. of a maze to get here. More money. So that's a big item that I need. A couple more chests here and then I'll head over to flipper places. Check the hobo and stuff. I just want to leave. So with the flippers, I can do the Swamp Palace. I can do... Waterfall. I can check the hobo. So I must check the hobo since I'm right here. Oh, there's also a thing there, too. An island I can check. How do I get down here? I just need a ledge to fall into, but I can't even find one. Do I have to go. Ah, oh, I have to go all the way down. Fine. There's a hobo underneath the bridge and gives me something. Ah, not much. He's just a hobo, right? So there's an island over here that I can check to see if it has anything. I also get the green pendant from the desert place. Alright, so what's over here? Oh, the red tunic! I want that! Oh. So I'll come 
back for that. While I'm here, I may as well get the heart container. fast now that I got the Pegasus boots. Oh no, that wasn't the heart container, it was 300 rupees. Well, I guess may as well get it all the way here anyway. Buy some potions and stuff. You can also buy the fire shield, because I haven't got that yet. I can buy it. It's for another 500 rupees. Looks like I got a partial refund on the flippers there. Paid 500, but I got 300 red on the ledge. So I can buy the shield. I should do the desert. Just so I can pull the master sword. That's how I'll end. That's how I'll end this part, I think. I'll do two parts, I guess. I can find everything in the second part. Oh, wrong way. Getting across the desert now is going to be really fast. The rest of this game will be pretty fast now that I get the mirror and the, uh... Ow! Where am I going? I'm assuming I know where to go, right? I guess I could have taken the bird and just flew over here too. Oh yeah, I forgot. Huh? Oh no, I'm still good. I get the I get the silver arrows too. They were on the they were on the ledge. The full heart was on the yeah the full heart was on the book bookshelf. A lot I can do. Now you can read what's on the master sword, but I find it to be more fun just to just to pull it and see what the heck you get. I might get one rupee. I might get the, the fourth sword upgrade. Master. Yeah, if I made it all this way, I've got the other pendant, so I may as well. Let me, uh, get the last one here. God, I got all three up, so that means that the boss has got something. So, before I go over there, I want to get the silver arrows. 
That'll make the fights a lot easier, too. I'm progressing in this game now. I got stuff. Alright. Uh, one of these has the keys. Oh, it's gotta be the last one, doesn't it? into this dungeon yet, just because I need the cane of... cane thing? Ow. Okay, a couple pieces of heart. Oh yeah, and I want to get my tunic as well. There's still a whole bunch of stuff I can get here. Let's see what's over here. Hey, there's the cane! Just talking about it. Good thing I went over here. So I'll come back here. Just because I want to check the pedestal and I want to get my tunic. And I want to check the green pendant. Actually, faster for me just to run. Ow! Look at that! Right out of here! <laughs> you guys die in one hit with the tempered sword. stuff. Save all the dungeons for the next part. So Lake Hylia in the Dark World is a little, uh, little drained. A little shallow. That's why you can, uh, get over here. Or maybe a little more flooded, I guess. Red 
turning turns me, uh, purple. Alright, I'm gonna turn in the green pennant, pull the Master Sword, and I'll call it apart! Where am I going? Hey, there's the fire shield. I thought I need to pay for that. So the beat just saved me 500 bucks. All right, let's go pull the pedestal. You watch the streams of like competitions. They call it pedestal hype. It's the easiest way to go here. We call it pedestal hype. Now get hyped. I've already got lost. The lost woods. Ah. Alright, I'm pretty rich. Ah, Alright, here we go. Usually you pull it and you get the Master Sword. I pull and I get... Hey! It's a heart! Maximum health increased, yeah! Oh yeah, I gotta check the library! Speaking of the full heart, get another full heart. And do that before I forget. Then I'll call it a part. The Lost Wood ain't no ain't cloudy anymore, too. The whole game changes when you pull the Master Sword in the regular game. So I'm gonna go to the library, and then I'll call it a part. I'm gonna forget about that. I'm gonna be pretty powerful now that I got the red tunic and a whole bunch of hearts and silver arrows and tempered sword. Still need the mirror shield. I got the fire shield though. All right, so everything from here on is uh, is crystal dungeons that are required. So thank you very much for tuning in, guys. I know this took almost two hours, but uh, hopefully you had some fun. Hopefully I'm doing okay compared to the speedrunners and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time for, uh, for part two, hopefully the last part in this, uh, little, uh, little playthrough. Thanks, guys! I'm gonna stop now while the timer is still ticking anyway. Okay, bye!